There she is, gorgeous baby Dominique. She made a journey all the way from the Ivory Coast in Africa to doctors at Advocate Children's Hospital. Now, after a reconstructive surgery to remove a parasitic twin, she is now recovering with her host family. And here to tell us more is her host family, Nancy Swab, and her daughter, Mara. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, ladies. And how beautiful is Dominique? How's she doing? She is doing beautifully. She is so healthy, and the surgery went exactly as planned. Okay, tell us about how, first of all, how did you get involved as a host family? Well, we um, saw a Facebook post, right? Uh -huh. Our friend Kim posted on Facebook. Uh, she shared a post from Children's Medical Missions West, which is the nonprofit who was bringing her here. And they were looking for a host family. And so we responded and applied. And oh. We were uh, accepted oh. five days before she came. Oh, that is so, so quick, quick exciting. Turnaround. So Mara, she's been your little sister here for a while. How, how does it feel having her around? Well, it's been really fun having her around. Mm -hmm. And every day when I come home from school, she's she's always in the family room oh. with a big smile oh, on her face. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Speaking of smile, oh my gosh, she is absolutely gorgeous. So tell us about Mara's situation then, Nancy, how this, this came about. We understand she was born uh, with a parasitic twin. Yes, she was, um, she was born otherwise healthy, but she had the extra limbs of her twin who died in utero on her back and they were growing along with her so although she was healthy it was hard for her to balance because she had a lot of extra weight on her back and so um, her family found an organization here in the United States um, that could help her with her surgery wow. and so it was the Advocate Children's Hospital and um, so she came in uh, on February 5th she and this, this was this was a surgery that was reported throughout the nation. She's a celebrity. You're a little celebrity. Yes, you are. And what's she just beautiful, you are gorgeous. Can I take you home? <laughs> Speaking of home, her family is not here, which is why you're here to help, right? Tell right. us about that. Right. right. Dominique has um, a mom and a dad and three sisters. Her dad is a primary school teacher, and they live in a very big city in Ivory Coast, um, and they are eagerly awaiting her return, <gasps> I'm sure. So we send them updates and photos regularly, yeah. and so the organization sends them to her family. Okay, so, so they know. So you're keeping them posted. Posted, right right okay right. <laughs> so besides coming home to a smiling beautiful face every day what what's been so special about this for you Mara <laughs> well just having just helping people who who I've never seen yeah she came into our family right mm -hmm. she, yeah. which is fantastic and I have to say there is no doubt you guys have grown very attached to this little beautiful thing <laughs> um, and I'm sure you feel great about what you're doing, but there is also no, no doubt you are going to miss her when she leaves, aren't you? Yes. We will. Mm -hmm. We will. We knew our time with her was just a few months, probably about 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and we did what we could to help her and the doctors and the nurses, and it's really been a big village to help her. And so I know that her family will be so happy to have her back. Okay, let's talk about, mm -hmm. so her recovery is going very well. What else does she need health-wise before she can head home? Well, she needs her last um, medical clearance check, but the doctors are so happy that, mm -hmm. um, you know, she'll, she'll be able to go home in a couple weeks. Wow, that's It's really amazing. just checking her out. Yep. So she'll be going home back to her family, and I'm sure it will not be soon enough. Okay, what you've done is such an admirable thing in taking her on. What suggestions might you have for other families who are interested in doing the same? Well, um, you know, look for organizations like Children's Medical Missions West, and um, just have, have a great village like we do. We have an amazing community in Edgebrook. We live in Chicago in the Edgebrook neighborhood, and our neighbors have been so wonderful to loan us things and contribute diapers and formula and clothing, and you sleep in a borrowed oh. pack and play, and you go in a, in a borrowed <laughs> stroller, so it's really been wonderful. So just open your hearts, open your homes, and it's it really couldn't be a better experience. Yes, okay, so after all is said and done, what will be the thing you remember the most from this, and has this been life-changing? It certainly has, don't you think, Mara? Yes. I think just oh, we're all neighbors. We're all neighbors. Even though Dominique's family is in another country on another continent, I think that we can really show love to our neighbors near and far. And, and I'll remember her smile and her sweetness. Wow. Well, it's an yeah. amazing thing you do. I want to get one more smile out of her before we leave. Hey, sweet girl. Can you smile for the camera? <laughs> yes, she is the happiest baby. Thank you so much, Mara, and, you know, for everything that you've done. And to help out, I think everybody can really learn from what your family has done. And there's no doubt, Nancy, that this will be an experience you will remember for a lifetime. Forever. Would you do it again? 
Yes, we would. We would. Very, very Ooh. nice. Thanks so much for coming in and sharing this beautiful little girl and hopefully <laughs> safe travels back to the Ivory Coast, right? Yep. I Thank love you it. so okay. much. Thank you so much. My absolute favorite story of the morning. Mm -hmm.